BlackRock just shocked everyone. Hello, beautiful people. Shalom, money makers. We're going to talk about Bitcoin and the crypto market. We're going to talk about what BlackRock said and what this could mean for Bitcoin going forward. All I ask from you is that you give me a beautiful smile. Smash that like button for Bitcoin and let's get into it. So currently, Bitcoin is sitting at 65,987 up almost 5% on the day. Bitcoin has been able to rise above the resistance level here at 65,488. You can see as soon as it broke here, there was a volume, a big candle. And since then it bounced off of that and it became from resistance, it became support. And now it's dodging between or dodging or moving between the 66,000 level. English is my second language, by the way. So if I mess up some words, I think I can get a little bit of a slack, right? <laughs> People in the comment sections be like, that's not the word, right? <laughs> Um, so to, to all the people that uh, speak multiple languages, you know sometimes how words get, you know, mishmashed in your head. <laughs> so it's going to be very interesting to see what happens for Bitcoin here. If we look on the daily, one day uh, technical indicators, you can see for Bitcoin, it's all across the board, all the moving averages, except the Ichimoku base, which... To tell you the truth, I haven't ever seen it at, at a buy. If I ever see it a buy, I think that's going to be a very... <laughs> very uh you know good signal that you know it's going in the right direction uh but all the moving averages on the daily time frame are giving us a buy uh, if we're looking at the oscillator so on that we have some that are giving neutral uh and some that are giving uh buy more macd momentum makes sense right uh, and if we go a little bit you know more out the stochastic uh is giving us a 71 which is a neutral which is a little bit high uh, and then we have the RSI that is also a little bit high. Even if we if we look here, you can see the stochastic RSI, we're around 54. So it's not, you know, a major buy signal. Uh, wait a second, I was looking at the five minute chart. <laughs> if we look at the daily chart, you can see it's, uh, you know, around the 54 here and the, the blue level is at 77. So it's getting, you know, it's not there. It's not in the overbought zone yet. So there is still uh, room and that's why we got a neutral uh, signal there for uh, Bitcoin. Um, we we are on the monthly chart back into the green. Uh, so as you can see, the monthly candle here for Bitcoin is giving us a green uh, candle about 5%, 4.5% on the month. So October, uh, you know, started out with not the best, uh, you know, start. Uh, with the sell-off, you know, happening with the whole Iran-Israel situation, uh, kind of put a shock to the system. We did get up to 64,000 there a few days ago, and then we had that sell-off all the way to 58,000. Bitcoin continues to be pretty choppy, right? There's no distinct, uh, you know, movements. There's, you know, we, we are seeing, you know, if we go out on a, a, a longer time frame, we were seeing higher highs, right? Higher highs, but then this kind of, Movement, I don't know, maybe some people could see some kind of cup or, you know, uh, some kind of U-shape. Uh, I'm pretty bad at identifying the, the shapes. I don't know. I don't have that. You know, some people have like that, uh, you know, vision. I don't, I don't, I, it's hard for me to see it. I'm better with trend lines and, you know, support and resistance and things like that. Um, but if you see anything, let me know in the comment section. Like, do you see a head and shoulders or inverse head and shoulders or, you know, pregnant ladies? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this could be a pregnant lady. I don't know. Uh, but uh, it's it's going to be interesting to see what happens with Bitcoin here because I'm already seeing the videos come out. You know, you know, we're back, right? October's here and, you know, the tweets and on, on uh, X. Um, but we've been at these levels before, just, you know, at the end of September here for about three, four days. And then we saw a sell-off. So I'm not ready to declare, oh, you know, October is back. Uh, of course, I want to see continuation. I want to see um, it hit the old all-time high here uh, from 2021, which is around 68,800 there, uh, 900. Uh, and if we do cross that, I'll be a little bit, you know, cross it and have the candle finish over on the daily because we did cross it over here back in uh, July, but it kept it crossed and then it pulled back. Remember, we touched like 70,000 for a few minutes. <laughs> for a minute or something, and then it came back down. Uh, so 70,000, of course, is going to be very, very important uh, for Bitcoin uh, going forward. Now, listen, the market, it's froggy, right? We can't deny it. Uh, 
but you know the dominance is uh still there so you know it's still 0 0.36 up today uh for the dominance so even though uh, altcoins are, are doing very good you know if we look at the top 100 uh you know uh, the, the biggest mover was 17 percent if we go down a little bit on the you know the market cap go to the second uh, 100 here so from 100 to 200 you have bigger movers 37 30 29 25 so the lower cap the meme coins are getting a little bit of a pump here whereas bitcoin of course it has all the the weight is up five percent which is a pretty good day uh for bitcoin you can see even with the candles like it's it's a big day it's a nice day of course we we all want more but there are opportunities in the market right and so you can take advantage of those opportunities if you're interested our partner margex will give you that opportunity no kyc but it's not available in all countries you can go long you can go short you can use up to 100x leverage on bitcoin if you desire but that's a little bit too much for me right <laughs> it goes up one percent you're up 100 percent. but if it goes down one percent you're liquidated so you have to be very very careful with that i've made a lot of money with leverage but i've lost a lot of money with leverage as well uh, if you're interested link is in the description down below you'll get 50 dollars once you sign up plus another 50 dollars once you deposit your first hundred dollars that goes to your your commissions plus you get another 20 percent uh kicker to your deposits if you use my special code and we have a special uh trading competition going on between the people uh, uh that are you have used my link before i know a lot of people are uh partnered with margic so if you do use my link i appreciate that i'll get a little bit commission and it helps us keep the lights on i don't promote any tokens i don't do anything like that so uh it's you know it helps us out uh, and so thank you if you do end up using my link but again please 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 trade responsibly um again you can make a lot of money but lose a lot of money and remember that exchanges are not big accounts i've seen recently some other exchanges uh that other youtubers have promoted are closing down um so you don't know what's going to happen remember that it's not big accounts it's for trading and you know not your keys not your crypto so remember that It'll be interesting to see here with Bitcoin uh, has held the bull market support band for the last couple of weeks. Seems like the next hurdle to be lower high structure that has been in place since March. If late October seasonality kicks in, which is usually bullish, then 67,000 to 68,000 could be next. We're almost there, right? We're almost at 66,000. Again, like I said, I want to see the next the next levels. Uh, and we do see that Bitcoin is uh, closing on the weekly uh, above the black downtrend channel top finally break out from this channel uh you know this is going to be important that would happen around 68,000 again there's a lot of things happening around the 68,900 zone um, so it's going to be very important for uh, Bitcoin to be able to break out of that zone uh, and potentially see where it can go from there and you know maybe maybe we finish you know October in, in, on a nice tone uh if you don't remember last October was pretty similar to what's happening not exact one-to-one -one, uh but we did start off you know pretty pretty flat uh, and then there was a pullback and then only towards the end of the the, the mid of the month uh which we had that uh you know 16th of October was it was a big day uh you know we're at the 14th of October how much was the just you know to reference oh, there's only one percent uh but then we had a big day here and then we had a few days consolidation and then towards the real end of the month 23rd 24th and we had that big run up all the way to 35,000. doesn't mean that this month is going to act exactly the same uh but this could be a start of something and it could be a premonition that fulfills itself it, it hasn't been so far you know people thought that when the clock strikes uh you know 12 a.m on uh september 30th the pump would start and that really didn't play out like that but it's going to be interesting to see how we end the month uh, and how we step into november uh, as well so what did blackrock say and you know this kind of blew my mind a little bit that they think this and this could be huge for the crypto market uh, justin bitcoin will become according to blackrock will become as big as the entire u.s housing market says blackrock ceo larry fink for reference bitcoin's market size is currently uh 1.3 trillion while the housing market is north of 50 trillion i mean and this is just the us right um so this would be basically 50x from here so you know if you if you do the math right <laughs> right uh let's say 66,000 times 50 that would bring us to 3.3 million uh dollars per bitcoin which is actually in line with what kathy woods was talking about right that's her uh you know her predictions and also you know michael saylor of course uh 
had us in that that zone as well. Um, by the way, I just want to see what MSTR did. Ah, so it ended up dropping today. Interesting. After big pumps, uh, it ended up dropping today. I was just tracking it. MicroStrategy started off good and had a sell off. Interesting that that happened. Uh, but <laughs> back to to Bitcoin and BlackRock. So it seems that they are in line with these predictions that have been given by other uh, Bitcoin maxis, you could call them. Uh, so is BlackRock becoming a Bitcoin maxi? Like they are going uh, on these uh, predictions, same as the people, you know, people who called, uh, you know, uh, Michael Saylor and, and Kathy Wood, you know, mainstream media or mainstream finance people called them crazy for saying Bitcoin to 3 million. Um, but, you know, now BlackRock is kind of saying the same thing. So so that's that's very interesting uh, to, to see that. And, you know, that's it's a big shock to me that they they are thinking that. Um, and they he just said, we believe Bitcoin is an asset, a, a class itself. He says, well, first, I'm not sure if either president or either candidate would make a difference. I do believe the utilization of digital assets are going to become a more and more of a reality worldwide conversation conversions we uh, with the institutions worldwide conversations about how should they think about digital assets, what type of assets allocation there should be. We believe Bitcoin is an asset class in itself. So it's an alternative to other commodities like gold. Well, first, not sure if either president, okay, that started again. <laughs> um, but you see how Larry Fink looks at Bitcoin as a unique asset. He doesn't you know, he's not like pro crypto per se, he's pro Bitcoin. Um, and they did the Ethereum ETF as well, which hasn't been such a success so far, you know, just price wise and, and uh, volume wise. But I think Bitcoin, he looks at it and it's like, okay, you know, the other stuff, it's a lot of noise and I'm not going to get into it, but I can see the, the potential here with Bitcoin as a stabilizer, as, you know, an asset class, uh, you know, similar to gold, similar to other assets, you know, silver and, and, things that people use, uh, you know, to diversify their portfolio. Although we know that Bitcoin, because of its liquidity and how easy it is to sell and because a lot of people uh, don't have Bitcoin as a uh, hedge, they have it as a investment to potentially sell in, at a later date into fiat. Right. So when you know you have turmoil and you have the market instability, it will drop. Although it hasn't dropped as much as the other assets, uh, altcoins have when we have seen turmoil. So you know that's very important to remember as well. Although you know it's still it's still not there, uh, and it's still not there as a as a payment either. Although there are some places around the world that it's getting better. So it will be very interesting to see what happens with the crypto market over the next few hours and next few days and see where it is it going from here. Year. Of course, not financial advice, and you should always do your own due diligence before you decide to invest. Remember, I'm never going to contact you, not on Twitter, not on uh, YouTube, not on Facebook, none of those things. Uh, I'll never contact you, and I'll never ask you to join groups or send money or click on links or anything. They're all scammers. Be very, very careful out there, not just me, other people, YouTubers as well. If we get into you know, 70,000, 80,000, 90,000, 100,000, a Bitcoin price, I think that the market's going to start going bananas and there's going to be tons of scams. So you have to be very, very careful out there. Subscribe for more crypto updates, more Bitcoin updates, uh, and ring the bell so you get notifications about those new videos uh, and smash the like button. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. And like I always say, let's make a lot of money.